Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Le Plata, where today everyone we are going to be attacking the mighty and powerful army of the Vobs. Yes, the Republic of Britannia. So, let us see what, today what we're going to be doing is that we are going to be recreating our success of the original war. Hopefully maybe we'll also get Scandinavia involved in it too because honestly it would be kind of awesome if we could get Scandinavia involved. I don't even know how they got involved the first time but... We're going to see. We're going to continue our game like it's just no other, and let's see what happens. Our armies are... Did we end the war? We better not be paying a dimitary again. Hmm. Did, did we actually do it? No way. Did, did we actually break apart the British Empire? What? Uh, yeah, oh, shoot, we did! The break of the Britannian Empire. We have been forced to concede defeat in the war and now treaty talks to discuss the breakup of the Empire. An empire we break the assured at least. Oh my goodness, the Treaty of London! Okay, whoa! What's this little country right here? Jamaica! Oh my goodness, Jamaica formed! Wait, is there anything else? We got... Oh my goodness, we got Platine, Cuba. Venezuela got this land. Oh my goodness, this is kind of cool. Oh my goodness, we got some more lower ports. Sweet! We got lots of lower ports, actually. That's kind of cool. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah, so everyone, that was the... War to dismantle the British Empire and Well, we won without really fighting it again. Austria gains that? How did Hmm We also gained that? South Africa, I think, actually is a country now. Whoa, South Africa's in our sphere of influence? Holy moly! <gasps> okay, South Africa. Ireland! My goodness. Oh, Ireland's formed. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Oh, oh we're not letting we're not letting them get away. <laughs> oh my goodness. And now we should also probably open up all our factories again and make sure they don't close, but oh my goodness, we just Wow. 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 So we just beat the British in a Conceit war just made him like break up the empire. <gasps> Hong Hong has been formed. Oh no, that's Gonzon Clink. Oh wow, you're still alive. Huh. You know, I'm just gonna call you Hong Hong because you're basically Hong Hong. You just don't have it yet. Although you do have a cause on all of China, which is very awkward for me because you also have cause on me. But still, you're basically that Hindu stand formed. Huh? Hindu stand formed. Oh yeah, because now the British are no longer, they're no longer a, a rival over here. So that means most of these Indian countries over here are, huh, that's really cool. And also kind of scary, because that means I could have a major threat from over here, but, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So now the British, is there anything else that's going to happen to the British? Okay, okay, I gotta, I gotta stop pausing it for a second. Also, we're apparently we're getting lots of money, so... You know what that means? Less taxes! Less taxes! There we go. Less taxes. And... Let's see, is there anything else that's going to be broken out of the British? Because I wouldn't mind getting, like, all this land over here, too. I mean, not to be greedy or anything, but... Ooh, Romania is having some difficulties. Having major difficulties? Ooh, come on, Romania, you guys can win. You guys can win. Go Romania. Go Romania. I don't want you guys to lose. Ooh. We will accept the colonial. We will accept. We will accept. Oh yeah, just. Oh my goodness. I think we're gonna get a lot out of this, people. Like, oh my goodness. I don't know how much we're gonna get out of this war, but I think we're gonna get a ton of land from the British. Ooh. Oh my goodness. We got this land. We got. Oh. We got all this land. Oh, we got all the islands. Oh, we got all the islands. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. And I guess we're not going to divide Britain anymore, but I'm pretty sure all the colonial provinces are going to go to me. 
Because Scandinavia wasn't in this war, and America has absolutely no ports. It's actually good that America has no ports, because otherwise they could have stolen some of this land from me. But, yeah, that's probably going to all go to me. America, what are you guys going to get, actually? I'm kind of wondering. Maybe over here? In Assam? Huh, what? Oh my goodness. This is super awesome! Oh my goodness! Okay, do you guys get all cores on each other? Hmm. Now, if only my vassal would be able to expand and be able to conquer all this. Because you're honestly the most powerful person out of all these people over here. Hmm. Vassal, if you guys could go conquer all these guys, that'd be nice so that we could... Wait, wait. Gold Coast Treaty? What does that do? Money, Netherlands, at peace with Saudi. What does this do? What does this do? Wait, what does this... The Gold Coast... Well, the construction of Suez they part of the Dutch to win the Sure, why don't we do it? The Dutch have agreed. Influence. I don't know what the Gold Coast Treaty does. Does that mean I give land away? Or did I just literally... I think I just literally took more land from people. What the heck? Wow, I just literally increased my... I'm increasing my power very much. Claim Congo. Claim Gamba. Oh... Wow, this is, I'm not going to be, I'm going to be honest with you people, I'm a little bit overwhelmed. This is like, oh my goodness, like we just, wow. Okay, so everyone, that was the war that apparently put us over the edge of being awesomely powerful. Yes, we'll accept colonies. I'm just going to accept everything they give me. Even though I fought like literally absolutely nothing in the war, we'll claim that it was all because of us. Yes. Yes. Wow. Yes, we shall attend. We're going to unite these two sides, aren't we? Because we're absolutely the only colonial power that can accept this because America can't. That's the sad part is that America can't accept any of this because we won't. <laughs> oh, I guess. And we're destroying the British uh, power in terms of prestige, which I like. Oh, my goodness. What the heck is going on, people? Oh, my goodness. Transfer provinces. Suez dividends. We just wait. We have the Suez now? Oh my goodness, we have the Suez. That means not only do we own one big gigantic fort, we own both of them. Wow, I, wow. I, who owns Egypt? Okay, no one owns Egypt, that's good, but. <laughs> Latin Africa, everyone. <laughs> oh my, look at that. I'm just like, wow. I went from being absolutely no colonial power to being like, oh my. Wow, this is... <laughs> we just... Wow, we just like... Everything. Just everything's coming to us. Oh my goodness. Absolutely nothing is going to America. This is either the most cheapest deal I've ever gotten or... Seriously, I love America right now. We, we just... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Is that it? Okay, I think that's it. Because this goes to Austria, apparently. I, I don't know why this goes to Austria, but that goes to Austria. The British have apparently kept Delphi or Amnestia. And the rest of the world is of India is now going to erupt into chaos as they all slowly start to fight each other, just like China. The civil wars are going to begin. Um, yeah, but we even got some land in Fiji. How much land do we have? Oh my goodness. Can we upgrade this land? 124. Well, now we won't be able to reach it because now we have so much African land, but how? Oh my goodness. So everyone, that's what happens when you do the dismantle treaty. And this is why I usually wait until all the other naval power, well, all the other powers become big. Because that's what usually happens, is that you can usually do that event. Which then gives you a ton of land. Which, we're still accepting colonies somewhere around the world. I don't even know anymore. We just are. But, yeah. <laughs> oh man. And then the Republic of Britannia must be like thinking, what the heck we lost to these people? Ugh. They literally lost all the 
Now look at the colonial influence we now have around the world. We didn't even try to do this. We just now have it. Wow. We still can't be a dreadnought, so... Because we're just not... We're just not powerful enough. Uh, okay, so since this is the end of the game, and because I said I would do it, um, claim Zamba, claim Kenya, claim Zam uh, Nazanian land, um, what I'm going to do is make kind of a powerful, um, sub-vassal in southern, in southern Africa, see if I can make a Hezo land, Zamba, Hezo, Hezo land, Really, I want something like right about here, like in this land right about here. I don't want to get any of this land over here because I think this will be staying my land, but I want to make African colony right about here. Because I said I would, I said I would free Africa eventually, it just took me a little bit to get to it. <laughs> uh, Nigeria, oh yeah, Nigeria is going to be big if I form them right now. The Confederation of the West Indies, Trinidad. Oh, I almost want to make Trinidad just because of cool reasons. Um, all right. Uh, uh, you know, I'm going to come back to you guys, and I'm going to see if this is the right nation I want to form, and I'll be right back, and I'll tell you guys to see if this is. So, see you guys in a second. Okay, people. Yes, it was. The country I wanted to form, which was Hegoland, was the exact country I needed to form. And there you go, people. This is my... Africa. I also formed Kenya over here because, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to guard Kenya. It's just going to be more there. If people try to attack it, I will defend it, but eh, don't really care. I really care more about this part of Africa. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. We just, we took so much out of that war. Like, we now have a firm, we have now mostly, the Caribbean is underneath our control. Um... Dreadnoughts are now available. Um, we now have... We have Ireland now, which means now we have a basically a basic for attack for anyone else in the world. Oh my goodness. I mean, literally, our country could never be more great than it is right now. Immigration-wise, we have a good amount of people coming to our country. Not great, but a good amount of people. Which is good. Because I want as many people as I can coming to our country. And... Uh, United States, United States has accepted crisis offer from Austria. Georgia acquires all states and cores with the provinces. What? Oh, sweet! So, and also, apparently, at the end of the game, Georgia, wow, Georgia just got its independence and just freed itself. Wow, good for you, Georgia, good for you. And then, this is all just a cluster. Right here, guys, this is all... Asia is such a cluster map mess. East Asia and South Asia is such... And Southeast Asia is just all clustered. I don't know what the heck is going on here. If you didn't... If you didn't know the, like, backstory of that, I don't think you would know either, because it's really confusing. Over here in Africa, though, I love my Africa. This is my Africa. My Africa. And then this is... I own... I didn't realize this, but I own basically everything lower than here. Because it's underneath my sphere of influence control. Which means my reach has now officially reached every part of the world. Wow! La Plata is officially international! Because we're in we're in um, Asia. We're in Southeast Asia. We are in Africa. We, I guess, a little bit into the... Oh my goodness, we took over Malaysia! We're in Malaysia. And we're in, of course, South Africa. And we're in the Caribbean, which I count technically as North Africa. North America too. Yeah, we don't want them becoming more of us. We don't want more commies. Please, no more commies. Uh, requires naval forts of four greater. Yeah, I wish... We're trying to get there, but... It's kind of hard when we don't have many things to go up with. Yeah. I mean, most of these are four greater, but... Yeah. Anyways, it's... Oh my goodness. So everyone... Now that we have officially become, like, really insanely powerful, now that we've basically just taken control of a bunch of different provinces, kick the British down. I mean, now the British are... Yeah, now the British are not even almost a power. 
calling on Malaysia. What do you need help with, Malaysia? If it's some stu oh, it's just Brunei. Okay. Yeah, I'll help you out. Because that's a stupid war, so I'm not really going to think it's going to be that long. But, yeah. Russia's almost gone. La Plata is now fourth power in the world! Yeah, La Plata! Go La Plata! We're now the fourth power in the world. Oh, my goodness. And we just... We rock right now. Like, we seriously rock. With all the land, all the stuff we have, we still cannot build any of our military planes or any of our militaristics because of some inconceivable reason I still don't understand. I mean... You know, just automate this, okay? It seems like it's not. It just... Supply, demand... Ah, okay. So you just keep opening up everything. I can keep I can keep everything open up because I really don't care. But let's see. We have our African states building up their own little tiny navy armies. That's cool. Oh my goodness. Uh, Georgia's being invaded by Turkey almost immediately. It wasn't even a year past they received independence. I'm apparently at war with France now. Shoot. That and Austria. Okay. Huh. You know, if I wanted to, I could turn this into a great war. Okay. Before I turn this into a great war, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call in everyone else. But stop, I'm going to call in my really cool Indian allies, who actually should be able to help me out here, because they're not surrounded by a massive death stack, and the British are now exiled. Oh, I have, I have one little piece of India. <laughs> what the heck? Wait, does that mean I can, I, can I make India just by chance? Just that stupidity, can I make India? Uh, one province India, come on, can I make India? No, I knew it. Okay, um, I'm gonna call in all my allies that can't join in usually to join in this time so that we have a major advantage against them. Then I'll call in America and we will team up at war with, oh yeah, Malaysia's already in on this because they're the ones who got me in on this. Chile, oh, you guys are not. You guys should form an alliance with me. No. Okay, you guys aren't going to? Okay, well, everyone else, I think... Portugal, maybe? No, because they're not going to. Okay, then... I think that's basically it. Yeah. Okay, I think that's basically it. Alright, well, let's call in America, everyone! And let's make this an official Great War, like we were thinking of originally. Yes! Okay. And now that this becomes a Great War, peace from Brunei, and next <laughs> Did I plan this just correctly? So if I accept this, does that mean I basically win the Great War Capitulation? Oh, no, no, no. It just means now they have less people to fight us with. Okay, that's fine to me. Colombia calling you guys. Um, Peru, I'm gonna call on you guys. Uh, Venezuela, I'm gonna call on you guys. Yeah, we're just gonna keep invading, like, let's just keep invading all these places. It helped us out the first time. Let's just keep invading. Go send my army over there. Ecuador, we're gonna invade you guys. Oh, wait, we're not invading you guys. We're gonna help you guys. There we go. Alright. Um, let's see. Ireland, call in ally. Hey, you guys should join in. You guys are like our big bros. What? Ireland? Come on, you have a good army. Okay. Uh, ooh, we have no diplomatic influence ever, anywhere, but that's fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what are you guys trying to fight for right now? Peace or quiet Sadal? So they have to send ships all the way over here, free this little nation right over here, and then be able to do stuff. Wow, they're not going to be able to do it. And we're just going to siege up all their land too. So, we're going to win this. And I'm pretty sure Qin Gai is going to become New China. That's going to be cool. Wait, you became a fascist dictatorship. You guys are a presidential dictatorship. I'm not sure if I'm fine with either of you two, but... I guess I'm a little bit less threatened of the presidential dictatorship. Okay. And as far as I know... Okay. Let's go kill off... Let's go kill off these Austrians right next to our border. Uh, we have a couple... Hmm. You know, honestly, we could actually kind of fight this war over there against our African provinces, since now Africa is now literally a big, gigantic province for us. Let's go try to protect our African provinces. Holy shoot, that's a big army. Okay, well, America, 
you will help us out. Because America is doing like two different things right now. They're, they're helping to defend the liberation of cars and they're helping to fight us. Well, thank you, America. I love your enthusiasm for helping everyone, but I wish you guys would just help us. But I want to thank you guys for watching. This is an exciting episode where we just started the Third Great War. Not the way we wanted to. It wasn't. This wasn't actually what we thought the Third Great War would look like. I mean, let's be real. We didn't actually think it would be against these guys, but apparently it is, so... Yeah, go figure. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.